welcome back to my channel how are you all doing i hope you guys are doing great yes i am back and i'm here to tell you give you an update for most of you who didn't receive my message on the community and most of you who did also receive it on the instagram because you're not following me there make sure you follow me on my instagram as well okay thank you jesus i just have to say thank god it took me a while to really do this I have been struggling to start filming simply because I have been mentally, emotionally stressed. I know. That's the question I ask myself. If you must know, what did she say? Is it her first time? Is that? <laughs> I did ask myself that question too. Why am I so down? What is happening to me? Why? I don't know, but this is what happens and this is how i see it i cannot control it i love to i have to allow the whole body and crying whenever it's needed and worst thing i don't want to the one thing i said i don't want to do is to come back here to tell you people and start crying on the camera no i don't like that i don't really like that so i have to really wait until i am fit to be able to come back here so that i will also we bring in the fun and the joy that I always do because that's what I want to be doing on my channel. Not just to make people feel bad or feel less of themselves or even feel sorry because I have made a video. I hate it when people are feeling so sorry for me because there are many things we can do for each other instead of just being that sorry. And again, sometimes Christian says I will pray for you, but every time they pray, they don't even remember you prayer. Remember, you are all in bundle of prayer. So be careful when you're writing that those things are remembering your prayer. <laughs> God is counting it all. <laughs> okay, guys, yes. I notified you guys of my community. For most of you who don't know that my son was poorly and we admitted at the hospital. That I will be back and I'll give you the update when I come back and honestly how these things happened these two weeks was really 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 a shock to me and how me also went that low and so so down was also a shock to me I don't know maybe because I am broke Guys, you are, I'm not going to lie. You know, sometimes people think I am living somebody else's life. No, 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 no. I'm too old for that. I'm too old to pretend for anyone to really like me or even to love me. No, 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 no. Yes, maybe this thing, this my son's health and I'm also broke. Maybe everything are together. Because normally when I'm broke, I don't feel good. And when I am stressed, the only thing that could really get me in order is shopping. Now I'm broke. I can't shop. I can't do anything. I can't help my son. I can't help myself. I am helpless. <laughs> God, I thank you. I'm laughing. Because if you know how much this babe has cried off camera, you won't believe. And that's why I love doing YouTube. YouTube is really good and inspiring i don't know if any of you know how i started my youtube journey here i did a vlog about it that was the first serious video that i did the other ones i deleted it because i felt like mm, it's not serious this was something i was just doing to inspire a friend and then before you know it i discovered that i'm also a youtube babe hey <laughs> so you see thank god guys it happened this way everything happened this way one day my son was poorly he stayed off school for one week and i've been giving him paracetamol and taking giving self medication for one week nothing happened i was like no 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 no. we have to go to emergency then before things get out of hand Reach to the hospital at the emergency the doctor examined him and also keep us in a short stay at the emergency ward to also go undergo some checks and uh test and also take some medications as well that at the end of the day we will go this is how this thing have started only for us to really stay there at the end of the day in the evening things are not really looking okay they have no choice than to admit him and i said okay maybe it's a one or two day stay guys it wasn't things just 
each and every day everything just starts coming up i'll say okay friday we'll go because we got to the uh, emergency hospital at the, on tuesday i said all right maybe by friday we'll go back and it was half term week that week so he spent for him he spent most all his half term uh, at the hospital so friday nothing i was like wow so we are still staying here and looking at the poor boy as well you'll be like this wasn't too serious when I started. Even him himself coming to the hospital, did he get the whole thing worst? I can't explain. I don't understand, to be honest. So, as if that is not enough, on a Sunday that I was really being positive that on Monday, maybe if the doctors come for the ward round, they will discharge us. Guys, Sunday midnight, everything double up everything double up that at that night i think he got like four or five doctors attending to him they have to bring the b scan everything examine from head to toe things were he was just restless he was just in a very scary mood and i was crying i was calling my father in heaven even calling the dead daddy in the grave <laughs> to come for this one or oh, say this one day too so too much for me oh hey i cannot do this i cannot be a widow and at the same time bury my child hey god forbid god forbid god forbid god forbid god forbid hey my dear this is my story <laughs> Hey God, so Sunday night, they just did all that. In the morning, I think around three o'clock ish or so, he started sleeping. In the morning, he was all right. <laughs> Monday night again, they said, "Okay, let's examine him." Monday night again, boom, the same thing strike, and I was like, "What is going on?" It was so much. It was so much that I have to leave him, go on the toilet, pour my tears because I don't want him to see because I noticed that if my son see me crying, he also feel bad as well. So I try to stop it. And then that also make him not to tell me when he's poorly because he don't want to make me. He thinks if he tells me that I'm going to cry. So now I'm trying to be the super mom and the strong mom for him just rush into the toilet cry my eyes out and wash my face and come back smiling and say don't worry start encouraging him don't worry nothing is going to happen to you god is with you you are a child of god he was even crying squeezing himself i'm calling upon the name of the lord i am sorry we are not going to talk in detail what the health condition was because he did not want me to talk about that so we'll leave that for now and i will respect that for him as well but that was how things carried on Tuesday, I think Tuesday night, <laughs> I will be honest, Tuesday morning or Tuesday at night. Yeah, I think in the morning, yeah, things also get out of hand. Was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Things, the thing just gets more, the situation gets more worse again in the morning and the doctor, one of them, sort of give him overdose <laughs> my story give him an overdose and this boy become another unconscious <laughs> hey i have been through a lot though hmm. my boy become unconscious drowsy couldn't see he was complaining everybody's going double double Whew! i was like what what's going on but this is all right they were just apologizing and they're managing very well and control everything and i think by thursday he started looking very okay eating very well going to the toilet because he got constipated as well while undergoing the treatment as well it's going to the toilet and looking much brighter but still have a slight headache which I think is as a result of the overdose they gave him. 
so after that friday he looked a bit okay again i think in friday evening that's when they now said okay he's all right now we can now discharge him i think when he gets home playing with the siblings and everything he will be all right and they also gave me some medications to also manage him at home so that is how i go through the whole two weeks and then this week now which is the last week of october he's at home as well i'm also observing because i don't want to send him to school I just wanted to him to stay because he still he still say that he don't feel too okay to go back to school that he's he would like to stay at home and have some rest but so i'm just i'm just watching him and i thank you for all your prayers love and i still need your prayers honestly don't stop praying if you're praying for me please more prayers i will appreciate that so that's how we ended up the two weeks and this week i started crying traumatized with so many things i come back here to pay my bills and everything the account is dropping going almost red and getting to red <laughs> so many things i felt like no i needed a break again this week to come back but having the work yeah even at work my work people gave me one week to stay off because my manager was like no you need some break you are not yourself don't come and kill yourself, okay? Take care of yourself and let me know when you're fit to come back. And that's all you say, but I'm going back this next week. So that's how it is, guys. And today, I that's only what happened. Today, I said, let me give you guys the update. And I am believing God we are fine. My children are great and they are not going to the hospital again. And me, myself, will not find myself in the hospital again in Jesus' name. And I will not bury my children and I will not die premature. There, there shall be no loss in my life, my family, and even my friends. I will not lose any of you, my subscribers, in Jesus' name. Amen. So videos are coming. Meanwhile, I did a very work thing, something I've never done before because I wanted to come back to you guys. I missed you guys so much. So I started vlogging in my moody state and moody look. So that is going to be spend the whole week with me. So it's coming next week by the grace of God, if I'm able to edit them all. Meanwhile, I already have two videos that I already filmed, which I've not edited. So I will be also working on those ones. So videos are coming. Stay tuned. I'll be uploading almost every day this week. So stay tuned. Subscribe. If you have not subscribed, you're meeting me for the first time. Thank you for watching. Turn on your notification button and give this video a thumbs up. More love. More love. Let's send more love and that will be it did i do a good update yes is there anything i'm missing yeah that is it so now we are back by the grace of god i'm fit to start shooting i also have some zara haul that's coming up too yeah i'm happy and i saw another one another one yes i have another challenge that i want to undergo as well from tomorrow first of november yes we are not giving up on this weight loss so stay tuned for that challenge as well and uh, that is it thank you guys i love you for your time i will stop talking and that's it if you want to know any more thing let me know i don't know how to do this update thing but i think i have really touched through almost everything that happens i'll see you bye